this is an introduction to constrained optimization. So pretend we've got a farmer who wants to build a rectangular fence as a pen for his animals. He wants to build the biggest pen possible with the f feet of fence that he has previously purchased. All right, so we're assuming he's got a particular length of fence that he has to use and he doesn't feel like going out to buy any more fence. Now he can choose the dimensions of the pen, right? So a rectangle is going to be length and width. He can choose L and W. So what is the objective function for this problem? Every constrained optimization problem has an objective function and a constraint. Well, this farmer, his objective is to build the largest rectangular pen possible. So we need to put some functional form on this. Well, a rectangle is length times width. So L times W in our notation. A equals L times W, where A stands for area. This is our objective function for the problem. Now what's the constraint? In this case, the farmer has F feet of fence to use for the perimeter of his fence. Now, since it's a rectangular fence, we can come up with a formula for the perimeter. Well, the perimeter of a rectangle is going to be length plus width plus length plus width. That's the four sides. Now, the constraint here is that those four sides have to add up to F, the number of feet the farmer has in terms of fencing available. We can simplify this and write it as 2L plus 2W equals F. This is our constraint for the problem. Another thing we like to identify is which variables are exogenous to this situation and which are endogenous. So exogenous variables are outside of the farmer's control in this particular situation. So that's the length of fence. We said he's got F feet of fence lying around that he wants to use. That is beyond his control. He's got what he's got to use. Now what he can control are the endogenous variables. In this case, he can decide the length and the width of his fence.